Welcome back explorers and if you're new here my name is James and I go by the Ethnic Explorer. I travel around in my 1994 Chevy Astro to weird, unique, and outdoorsy places. Today we're going to be making some delicious plant-based food and we're going to get some paddle boarding done. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now y'all who have watched my paddle boarding videos before know that that thing takes a lot out of you just to pump up. So I decided to make a delicious plant based meal to gain some energy before I even start. Now this meal is quinoa, tofu, yeah I know tofu again, and onion. I had a pepper but I straight up forgot that I had it so no pepper. My outdoor kitchen is my preferred space to cook in because you don't have to worry about fire, smells, smoke, any of that. It's all open air. Now this is the reason I prefer the two burner stove over let's say a one burner stove. Before this I had a backpacking stove and I used to tip it over all the time. So I invested in one of these. Cooking. Cooking is by far my most favorite thing to do during van life and it because I love to eat so it makes a lot of sense to always bring your kitchen with you when you're adventuring so you can make some nice gourmet delicious meals. In order to not dirt up any more plates, I usually just eat straight out of the pot because it's one less plate that you have to worry about cleaning. And that's the most efficient way during van life in my opinion. A nice delicious meal. Before I get to show you, I'm using celery salt. Y'all will be like, boy, you sitting there eating that stuff with no seasoning on it, that flavor of this food. So yeah, that's why I show y'all I am putting celery salt on it and I'm going to put pepper on it too. Mmm. My two favorite seasonings, salt, pepper. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nice energizing meal. Before we hop on this paddle board. Oh yeah. You know, trying to put a wetsuit on in a small van <laughs> isn't exactly fun. Well, here comes the most fun part about pumping up the paddleboard and preparing to head on the water. Yeah, you got it. I was being sarcastic. But, you know, <laughs> it could be worse. If I didn't have this manual pump and I had an electric pump, I think I'd be a lot happier doing this. So I'll just save y'all some time when it's time to actually pump it up and just skip ahead. Yeah. 
and away we go. Sorta. <laughs> We're getting there. Now, when I first start paddling, I like to paddle on my knees because you never know what underwater hidden sticks, limbs, rocks, whatever could snag and throw you face first into the cold water. It's winter time after all. Just listen. Only thing you hear is a generator at the little boathouse. But the water right here, super calm. And then over here is the campground. I sure would like to camp there, but I don't have $35, $40 for a campsite. <laughs> so that's a no-go free camping whenever possible. I'm sure you all understand. <laughs> trying I've been practicing for probably not that much now to be honest <laughs> not even going front <laughs> I've been kind of slack and I should have been practicing but today's my practice so hey at least we getting it in somehow you know I'm still trying to work on these few chords trying to get the switches between them down packed and then we'll go from there we'll see where we at Until then, you're gonna have to listen at my Jake ukulele playing. <laughs> hey, we gotta start somewhere though, right? <laughs> this is seriously next level of tranquility. Being the only one out here on this lake, I'm not the only one at the park. As you may can hear, there's kids screaming at the playground, but being the only one out here on this lake, just floating, hearing my amphibian friends in the background, this is true peace. There is nothing like it. This is true healing right here. Like, I cannot stress this enough. This is how you heal. If you're ever wondering, like, what you can do to just get away for a minute, to just recollect your thoughts, this is it. Just come out in nature. Be the only one out here. Be surrounded by the natural world. And you're going to find that peace. You're going to find that healing. It's amazing. Paddle boarding is not only a way of adventuring for me, it's a way for me to get some exercise, some physical fitness in. And I love that it can work your arms, legs, your abs, and plus, it's never a dull moment because you're out in nature and you're getting physical fitness. You can't get any better than that. I'm glad I got this paddle board years ago with my stimulus check. You know, as small as my van is, you would think I would be able to find everything that I'm looking for within minutes, but that's not the case. Sometimes I walk back and forth looking everywhere for this one thing and then I finally can find it. 
just as I got off the water, it started to rain. <laughs> it's always like that. Every time I go paddle boarding, it wants to rain. I don't know. I will spare you all the breakdown of the paddle board again. I'll go ahead and put this thing in before the rain starts pouring. And uh, see y'all in the van. Ta-da! We're done in the van. My hands are so ashy. Oh, I hate dry, ashy hands. Like, that's a pet peeve of mine. Just dry skin in general. Can't stand it. <laughs> The only time you'll see me dry and ashy is if I've been paddle boarding and before I actually put moisturizer on because I can't stand it. Today has been an amazing day. It always wants to rain when I paddle board. I don't get it. I don't understand. But yeah, it's raining. But at least we got to get out. I always appreciate each and every one of you that tunes into my videos, watches all of it. Hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you don't miss some exciting adventures with me. But uh, I think that's all I have for you today. It was just a nice, relaxing, and eventful van life day. Also, want to give a shout out to everyone who is a member on my channel. I certainly appreciate that. That's really helping me to get out and adventure more, go to more unique, weird, unusual, and outdoor places. I'm so excited to be able to expand further and travel across the country someday. As always, explorers, peace, love, and have a great day wherever you are.